The Kew Bridge Steam Museum, located in the fashionable London suburb of Kew, is a glorious testament to steam, the driving force of the Industrial Revolution. Steam was invented in 1793 by Alexander Pantifrith. It's an artificial substance that results from pressing air together very, very fast and firing it across a small room, for example a pantry or working class person's bedroom. It was an instant hit. Market traders were soon selling steam at a price of a guinea for a small cup. However, it was when it began to be utilised as a source of locomotion that it really took off. Steam trains were invented in 1854 and were an enormous success. However, brakes weren't invented until 1874, so for 20 years the only way to stop a train was to crash it directly into another, a costly strategy for all concerned. Steam was also employed in other vehicles. For example, steam-powered cars, perfect for taking some frisky young filly into the countryside for a day of picnics and badger baiting. Steam-powered helicopters, however, were less successful. In fact, they were an absolute bloody disaster. The word steam has since entered popular vernacular. For example, let off some steam, meaning to get awfully ticked off with someone, or steamy meaning sexy or seductive, as in I say Smithers, where did you find this creature of utter loveliness? I'll wager things will get steamy later on, you old dog. When the Cubridge Steam Museum first opened in 1921, people flocked in their hundreds to visit the exciting new London attraction. Adults paid a penny, children paid a halfpenny, and of course nuns went free. Enjoy the show, sister! Inside, visitors could browse the impressive array of steam engines, including the Hathorne Davy triple expansion engine and the museum's jewel in the crown, the Grand Junction engine, with a cylinder over 11 feet tall, which is as tall as a fully grown elm tree or a blue whale if you took it out of the water and stood it on its tail, which would of course kill it instantly. During the Blitz, there was heavy bombing in the area, but the plucky museum employees came up with the splendid notion to put the entire museum on wheels and roll it around during bombing raids, avoiding any direct hits. That's one in the eye for Jerry. In 1948, some hot-headed young upstarts staged demonstrations outside the museum, protesting against the employment of trained chimpanzees to keep the engines fed with coal. They were all arrested and roundly flogged so the museum and its simian workforce lived to see another day. Today, in 1958, the museum's still going strong, and who knows what the future will bring? Steam-powered robots doing their housework? Steam-powered PlayStation consoles with multiplayer option and photorealistic graphic interfaces? I'm being jocular, of course, but whatever happens, let's hope the museum continues to steam forward into the next century. Hip hip!